Do y'all remember that gay couple that I reacted to, the Mexican Cholo man? Well, they made it on the Everyday Day podcast with Snow the Product. So come on, let's react. Coming back with another Snow the Product reaction video. She brought that gay couple that I really, really liked. Now, mind you, this podcast is a long podcast. I'm only going to react to bits and pieces. I have not seen it yet, so I'm just going to scroll there and then scroll there and see how they interact. Y'all ready to react? Because I am. Let's get it. So, huh? Her? Her. Oh, yeah. yeah. No, I wouldn't even top of yeah. me. No, no, my man. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Wait, but, ¿Era vieja? Uh, sí. No, I'm, I'm, I'm straight. I mean, like, <laughs> oh, you're straight? I'm straight. Oh, my God. <laughs> Estoy bien ignorante. I, no, because a lot of people think that like, I'm gay or bisexual. Like, no, no, no. I, I, I get it. No, I'm used to it. I'm used to it. I thought you were one of us, no. girl. <laughs> I was like, she's no, a I'm sister. sorry. Okay, so I thought... Okay, so I don't know who that other guy is. Um... But I guess his name is Trino. And he did look a little gay, I ain't gonna lie. But that's just us stereotyping a feminine man, okay? Straight men can be feminine. But listen, we get wrong sometimes. Sorry, I let you down. Yeah, no, because, yeah. I apologize. No. Wait, but if you got into a fight. Huh? <laughs> Turn the AC on. Yeah. The heater's on right there. Okay. The heater's on. By the way, at this point, they took lots of shots, okay? Tequila. To be exact. Wait, is it, is it like, like the way? That's what happens when you have a whole bunch of Mexicans like, at the table. I just think no, like, tell me what it is. <laughs> no, because everyone tells me that. I, I think yeah. I think it's the way our brain works. You uh -huh. know what I mean? So I apologize from the bottom of my mind. No, no, I mean, it the necklace kind of gives insult, it off you know, a little like, bit. Like, yeah, yeah, I, I, oh my God, I'm sorry to have brought you. He said the necklace. The necklace kind of like. Okay, guys, can you guys relax? Well, we're that, in a safe space no, it's not the necklace you know what it is it's the fact that he's a little bit feminine and they're in a room and up on a podcast where the rest of them are gay S <laughs> snow's a lesbian and the gay couple are gay so just by that alone now you're gonna assume that that other guest is also in the community but no everybody was wrong <laughs> He's asking. But I, I, want, I want to say this. Uh -huh. I mean, I'm not. There's saying. this guy on, on TikTok that he does makeup. He's a whole boss. He has a beautiful woman. I think he has little boys, little girls. He's a boss. Uh -huh. And they come for him because he puts makeup on. He's a yeah. little bit flamboyant. And people say, get out of the closet. But he's a good man that takes care of his family. I don't even know his name because sometimes he pops up here and there. Because this is all stereotypes. We stereotype too. What, he, he's a, he's a, he has his wife. And people just can't see it. So mm -hmm. I get it. Okay. Yeah, it'd be yeah, like yeah. that. I, even yeah. with women sometimes, too. Like, you know, like sometimes you'd be like, you'd be thinking. You're too feminine. And they'd be like, hey, sorry, my By bad. the way, for those who don't know who this couple is, if y'all don't follow TikTok, they're big, th they're big on there. But I also reacted to them. They've been together for 18 years. 18 years. Mm-hmm, that long. I, sorry. You know? I can't believe you're Can you delete that? You're wearing a flannel. <laughs> delete that. Oh now. No. <laughs> I don't want people to think that I'm like that. Yeah. Okay, what does dating mean? Hold on. Are you why? following uh, somebody? That you're, you're exclusive. No, fuck no you don't dating. have to be exclusive yeah, when like, dating. Are you fucking and fucking everybody? What the fuck oh, wait, wait. is this? <laughs> okay, before they answer on what they think dating is, for me, I think dating someone is just getting to know the person. You don't even have to be affectionate. You don't have to hit the, the kissing stage yet. It's getting to know the person and do a little flirting here and there. There ain't nothing wrong with it. I don't think you gotta fuck for it to be considered dating or the talking stage. I'm sorry, <laughs> he wasn't home trained. Yeah. I do apologize. Really? Wait, do you agree with that? Yes, she does. Rude. <laughs> she needs her. to leave too. <laughs> she needs to leave. I just leave. I've never had to leave like, my own podcast. She's just, like, wait, this is my <laughs> house, motherfucker. <laughs> like, if anything, you need to leave. <laughs> I leave and it's empty and you're no, I, I apologize. Was, I don't know how. I don't want to. He was in home train. I'm surprised <laughs> I'm speaking English at this point. <laughs> <laughs> but for somebody to say, are you dating somebody? And then somebody to say, are you sucking and fucking everybody? Is crazy. No, that I didn't mean crazy, like that. <laughs> that's a crazy fucking left turn, dude. All right. I okay. do apologize for him. What? Okay. Let's okay. just start there. Since you give dating advice, you mm -hmm. guys have been together for a very long time. Okay. So I'm assuming, I don't know. I don't know what y'all's situation is. If y'all, you know, monogamous, poly, amorous, whatever. Okay. What do y'all like? Do y'all like polyamory, monogamy? Do you guys just like dating? What, Ooh, what let's do you get consider? Deep. Let's like, be nosy. If you're single and you, you know, you got out of a long-term relationship and you're dating, do you have to immediately exclusively date someone, get into a relationship? Or can you date like be single 
you know yeah like situationships yeah. as for me because you know i'm part of the podcast and i'm mexican my damn self and i'm part of the community um for me i'm a monogamous dater i don't date no more than one person at a time because i feel like i'll be able to tell if the person i'm dating is someone that i want to pursue or not and if it's not after a few dates i'm over it after a couple months i'm over it on to the next one if i don't need to have three four five people that i need to be dating all at once it's too much of my energy sharing to everybody one at a time that's all i need so mm -hmm. how do y'all feel about everything that i just said um and go what, what well, did she go say first. <laughs> okay <laughs> can he go, <laughs> can, can he go? <laughs> i deflected <laughs> no, <I'm sorry. laughs> yeah you did you did <laughs> that's called deflecting go, go ahead, Bobby, yeah. go ahead. Okay. well let him go okay. first okay. Then okay. Okay. okay so um, right now yeah right now i'm doing situationships like i'm not dating anyone and i told myself that i'm not gonna date anyone until um i got my shit together because mm -hmm. i um ended my last relationship back in june so like eight uh nine months ago that's a different one than the van one yeah okay, yeah good. it's a different one <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah no that was my last relationship and we were in kentucky and i told her like hey like i've been in the south like so long like it's what like 11 years Mm -hmm. uh or like, yeah like 12 13 years and like i, I don't want to live here anymore and like she was born and raised there so like she wanted to stay mm. so that could be a deal breaker you know, we there wasn't a compromise like either we stayed or we mm -hmm. left mm -hmm. uh so we broke up and then i started to leave and i come to la right like mm. uh, i drove here like i packed everything and then i just started driving to la um you came alone Yeah, yeah, come along. No, he brought the meth guy. El me like, trajo, el me trajo. He's like, I'm gonna return the favor, bro. The, the, ro the room is right now. <laughs> He's like, we're going somewhere where there's Wi-Fi. <laughs> right. Okay, so what yeah. happened? So, I right, so come over here. Yeah, so I come here. So you and left your parents back there? No, my, my parents are in Mexico. Oh, like, okay. So it was uh, just you alone in Tennessee? Yeah, because they hate it here. Bro! <laughs> 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 the details the you want are crazy. <laughs> I'm he's with like, you. He's, no. he's like, I'm trying to, okay, paint, okay, okay, okay. I'm trying to paint a picture. Okay, yeah, let me tell you. So basically, my parents, they they stayed here until I was 20 because my little sister was 18 at the time. Um, and they were like, no, pues ya, ya cool. mi responsabilidad, ajá, ya, ya se acabó. Get out of here. So they went back to Mexico to like retire and like live their own life. Mm. Uh, so right now it's me and my sister in the U.S. My sister in, is in Tennessee still. Mm. Um, Tell her to come to my show on a yeah. Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> no, I will. I'll let her know. I'll let her right, know. Thank you. Want to know the backstory yeah. of that? Yeah. All right. So yeah. and then what happened? So um, yeah, after breaking up with her, I told myself that like I'm not gonna be into a, rela a relationship until I'm like you know stable, like economically stable, like uh, financially, uh, mentally, like you know everything. So you're ready. Uh, yeah, until I'm ready. Cause, like, I'm on the same know, fucking boat. I am not ready for a relationship. Been single for four years, and I'm still gonna continue to be single for a few more years because I'm not settling in any state right now. I want to continue to travel and in my career and make some money. And I cannot do long distance. I just can't. My love language is quality time and physical touch. How can I have those two with long distance relationships? I can't. So I am not ready for it. And plus, I got some self work to do, girl. Someone that's like stable. That's yeah, so that's beautiful, especially yeah. right so now. So what are you this doing right now then? Yeah. Like, okay, so you broke up with that. You don't want to uh -huh. get into a relationship until you're there. Yeah. From now until you're there, what is your plan of of what does dating look like? I'm just using Tinder on like situationships and like. Okay. Yeah. Like casual. Yep. Casual shit. I'm okay with casual way, stuff right now. I'm really asking now. this for the purpose. I like real right, advice right, right. because just I'm just like companionship, okay, fun. Man, dating mm -hmm. women, you're like situation ships, right? Mm -hmm. Plural. And you're like, yeah. I'm dating, I'm casual, whatever. Mm -hmm. And that's very accepted. Yes. Right? Right. Like, everybody, like, girls are not going to question that. If you post about that on TikTok, nobody's going to question that. With me, turns out I'm a fucking player and an asshole when it's like, I also, I'm looking to get my life together, guys. So, mm -hmm. until I'm where yes, I need to be, have fun. I'm not going to get into a relationship. But it's because Shit. who you are. What? We still People need, just nosy, we guys. still need affection and companionship, you guys. Like, We don't have to be in a relationship to have that. So let us have our fun. I mean, come on. What the fuck and is it's that not, mean? It's not okay. <laughs> But people just want to know this side of you. You're, you know, it's it just what it is. As, as everybody that's fans, they want it. It's inappropriate for sure. It's a, it's a personal thing that you should go through. But people are just nosy. Like, what's going on? Who is she? Who is she with? All that mm -hmm. stuff. Yeah. You know But I mean? it's like, I think it's very normal to, like, 
like you said, like you want to get to a place where where you where you feel comfortable and you feel like you're bringing you're giving your best self, and then they got to be in their best self, and then y'all gonna meet in the middle, and then y'all are probably hopefully gonna be like the best couple you could possibly be. Yeah. Right. Whereas if you're not that person yet, then how the fuck are you supposed to? Right. right? Yeah. Like yeah. he's right. gonna show up half ass then, but be expecting someone to be a hundred percent. Like that don't make no damn sense. <laughs> we don't. Puma said he heard a noise. <clears throat> oh, hell no. What's up? Let's pull up. Right. Right. This is the wrong Fuck time for a motherfucker to show up. We're about to fucking There's too many to do the shots. He's like, not me. It's ghetto over here, too. <laughs> a little bit. I, I don't know. Bro, I'm fight, ghetto as well. So that's all you. Have you ever gotten in a fight? Uh, in elementary school. Okay. Uh, Did in, you win? Uh, fifth grade. Yeah, I won. Oh. You better have won. <laughs> I won. I won. He's one and yeah. I got in a fight like like two days ago. Damn, and I lost. For real? You lost. Oh. Okay, gangster. <laughs> I lost to to this guy. Dime, dime about your elementary he experience. Beat my ass, girl. <laughs> What's in up? The street your elementary in experience. Damn, girl. Oh. Oh. This is a lot. Hi, baby. What's about him? <laughs> yeah. Wait. What you say? Not wait. Well, I, I don't know. I didn't uh, say nothing. No, no. Him. him, him I don't know. Talk about your elementary story. Let's talk about oh, your shit. Okay, okay. Okay. Yeah. For me, no. The only fight I've been in was because. My name is Jose, right? Uh, we know. And then there was a guy that was calling me uh, Josefina, <gasps> right? Oh. Like, yeah, like he was trying, <laughs> like he was trying to like put me down or whatever. Oh my god! And yeah, we got into a fight, and then I got on top of him, and I was like, "Like, what's my name?" Like, say, "Damn, right? oh. <laughs> <And> that <laughs> still sounds a little gay." Oh, you're a no, 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 and let me I tell you something. One of them is Jose and one of them is Josefina. Did we do background checks on people that come on uh, here? Wait, what? You need a background check because I'm know, scared. I, oh my gosh. <laughs> I feel threatened. Okay, so you were like, what's my name? What's my right, name? Yeah, what's yeah, like my I name? got on top of him and I started like, um, I didn't like strangle him, but like, oh. I d- cause Wait, you I did know. it? You better have well, shit. Yeah, yeah basically, cool. basically, because I feel like hitting him in the face. I too have too said what's my name while I'm choking somebody. <laughs> <Yeah, yeah, yeah. laughs> I said it every night. Uh, yeah. Anyway, okay, sorry. And yeah, I won, and then it was like at the end of school. Did so he say your name or no? Yeah, he did. Where he said Jose. Yeah, he said Jose. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh yeah. Oh my god, it was a hot mess. You cannot be in a room full of gay people. We're so stuck. Ah, we're so gay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> this is what's going to make this uh, shit disappear. Oh. Okay. <laughs> you right. why you and I won. The okay. And then, yeah, I was on top of him. Like, uh, I strangled him a little bit. <laughs> and then my mom, <laughs> like, she was there. Like, So, like, she, like. <laughs> this was in front of your mom? Yeah, because I didn't know she was there. So, like, she picked me up. And she was, like. Yeah, like get she him, me whole, get him, fuck that fool. <laughs> No, she was mad. She was mad at me. What? And I was like, I won. Like, why are you mad? Yeah, you like, probably yeah. that was the gayest way to win a fight. She's like, Jose. Uh, You're like, what's my fucking name? What's my name, she's bitch? Like, she's like, punching me or <laughs> something. Fuck. Yeah. Scratch oh him. Shit, do something. Oh, that's a great story. I'm sorry. That's okay. funny. No. Look, choking can be a good thing. You see, even the right, chat. It can be. The it can chat be. is It enjoying. is a good thing. Okay. Did he punch right. him or anything? Uh, no, I didn't punch him. Did you him. scratch him? Just no, no, I felt like that was too You didn't hard. scratch him either? No, so you, you scratch like, the motherfucker, the dude. At least something. So just sat on top of him and choked him. And then you choked said, him. What's and asked him, what's your name? Like, yeah, give me nombre. You know, like. Oh! Yeah. You thought like, you were like, like. Como like <laughs> 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 okay. What's my motherfucking name? Give me nombre. Oh, oh, oh. Give me nombre. Give me nombre. Yup, cheers. Cheers. Cheers, baby. To the story. To the gayest story of this podcast. All right. Cheers, baby, all the way. And he's a straight as motherfucker. I'm just joking. Yo, uh, I'm about to tell. Yeah, I've yeah. never said "dimi nombre" in my life, but I'm gonna I'm 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 pull that one. I'm gonna start saying this yeah. shit all the time yeah. now, <laughs> just for you, Jose. Right, nombre, you. Bitch. Yeah. yeah, I think like, about me the next time you say it. But so okay. yeah, all the fights I've been in my life, I won. One. Yeah. So you're one and zero. one, yeah, one, yeah. O- yeah, exactly. And you know what? Some people, undefeated. Some people feel like undefeated. 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 <laughs> like like they have to say. Like, I love how you just say the way you say. Like you're, you're not embarrassed. Sometimes people feel like they have to have some fights on them. I'm not you a know? fighter. Like that, that shit is cool as fuck. Yeah. Only had two fights. One in elementary, dumbest shit ever, and one in high school, in the bus, dumbest shit ever. Both times was just me defending myself. 
I am not a fighter, okay? I, I guess my mouth gets people pissed off. I can't help that. No. Gay okay. guys, don't fight girls, please. No, girls, we don't. Yeah, we don't. I do I not. You, I do not. Please don't. Girls don't pick If guys, I ever see a girl like me, yeah, like, it, that's not I cool. Do, I don't I, like that. I will like step up. Mm-hmm. I will look yeah, away. Like walk away. <laughs> like, like, not my problem. No. <laughs> I think that's the thing, and that, and that's what I would like to maybe. Like there's no organization that does this, but I would like there to be more. I feel like. Remember that gay areas are a safe place for gay people, um, including women, including everybody. Um, I do think that there is a lot of like, there's a lot like, and mind you, I travel a lot. So I go different countries, different states, different So do I. And a lot of times in the gay areas, people think it's a free for all. They're like, this is the gay area. Everyone's doing whatever they want. So get fucked up and straight people, gay people, whatever, get ratchet. And it's like. Have some sort of like idea, like if you're in the gay area, make gay people feel safe, please. Mm-hmm. Especially, you know what I mean. Especially women, because like I said before, the biggest places I've been disrespected by men, by women, by whoever has been gay areas, and I feel like we need to remember to make it a safe place again. So that's just my little soapbox moment. Can for I say me. something? No. <coughs> like so what? <laughs> can I say something, girl? Yeah. No, I'm no, so like I feel like when it comes to like being in, in around our community, yeah, I don't ever feel unsafe. But but I don't we, either. We, we pull up to a lot of events that are like straight. You know? Yeah. Like car shows, like a lot of this and that. Yeah. And and like like I don't know if I did I say it already on this podcast, but like people like they have put a green light on us. Yeah. Sureños. Yeah. And um, mm. they want to like they want to come for our lives and and like I I reached out to friends of mine and I'm like. Hey, like, like gang I don't life, know what's yeah. What's going on? But I don't know what I'm representing. But I'm just me, you know. Yeah. I'm. I'm not trying to like pretend to be something I'm not. I'm not trying to be like like I'm not a homie. I never once once said I was from a gang. Yeah. Oh, okay. But I just dress the way I do, and because the reason why I dress the way I do is because I feel like. I'm growing up. Like well, that's the Cholo culture, the Chicano culture. It is different from being in gangs. The reason why I thought they were in a gang is because he has a crown on his neck. So I just assumed that was a Latin King thing. So my mistake. It's a way of protection, you know? Yeah. Mm-hmm. When you dress this way, like, and especially now that I'm like almost 50 years old, you know? Mm-hmm. Like, Damn, like looks You just good. become used to this, you know? And I just feel like this is my comfort. If I dress anyway, I'll, people are like, people always comment and they're like, it's okay to be gay, but don't dress the way you do. That's I'm terrible. like, I don't know how to do nothing else but this, you know? Yeah. Right. I'm not trying to, this is not an act for me. If I dress any way else, if I dress in the rainbows, if I dress in fucking pink, mm. that's an act. Yeah. This yeah. is not an act for me, you know? For and sure. And I just feel like people like just want to assume that like, you know what, like, oh, because you're gay, like you, this and that. This is just the way I am, yeah. you know? and no, I'm not and trying I to be nothing different. I don't like to oh, waste my time. What, what's your name and if I'm not stuck in a fucking and I don't know what you're packing, Okay, like as old as I am, Wait, as what? old as I am, my body count is in the one digits. Ooh, she lied. I'm so <laughs> sorry. Is it? <laughs> yeah. Why yeah. is everybody That's showing? Cute. You're too cute so for that. <laughs> She's too That's pretty cute. for that. I know. And you're too cute. Like, it's time to give it up, girl. It has nothing to do with being cute. Yeah, like mine is also in the one sing in the singular digits. I just spread it up. You know what I'm saying? You know, it's, you be, could. it's about being yeah, picky like with who you choose, to, who, with who you share your with, body with. Open arms, open legs, and open mouth. Yeah, girl, what the fuck? <laughs> oh, yo, little bitch, the fuck? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? You gonna live? You gonna die? Then? No, girl, this is the only life you live. So yo, lo. No, you guys. That's how you catch diseases. <laughs> <laughs> Especially in your twenties, I feel like that's the age where you have oh. to like. Experiment. Yes, that's okay, true. Let's not forget, I got married at 19. Mm. Oh damn! Mm-hmm. For how so, long? So, fucking. I mean, <laughs> that's up for discussion. <laughs> All right, so that's it for today's video. As y'all saw, I skimmed through the podcast. I chopped it up in that way. So, if y'all really want to watch the whole thing, go ahead and jump over to Everyday Days. All right, y'all. See you in the next video. Peace.